<laughs> oh, more more space cat. I, I don't, I did, I did not like those apples, Roos. I did not. I did not like those apples. Not a lot. No. You hate that movie? <laughs> I, uh, I had this, uh, I had this PE teacher in high school, my freshman year PE teacher. And the guy walked around with a like portable megaphone sort of thing, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like the cone megaphone, you know, where you hold the handle and you go, bah, 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 bah. it was like he had a microphone pinned to his his shirt at all times. And the, the cord ran from his shirt, like, like he had like a lavalier, you know, like a, a shirt mic and the cord ran down to a little speaker that he would carry around in his hand. And that was his megaphone. And it allowed him to, you know, communicate with us kids a little bit louder than he could just by voice. But he had this cadence that he would use when he was talking and he would always talk that way. And one time on freshman year, they made us run the mile, right? Freshman year, high school, I don't know if it's common everywhere else. I'm sure it probably is fairly common. They make you run the mile and I didn't run it. You know, I did my first mile. I, w I, I clocked in somewhere around like 15 minutes, 17 minutes. I was walking it. I was not down to run. I was not interested. I did not want to run the mile. So we get toward, we, you know, that, that happens and we, we all run the mile and we all get our times and we all look at it and we all go, oh, okay, that's how fast we all went and whatever. Later in the year though, they keep making us run the mile over the course of the year, the run the mile, run the mile, run the mile. Finally, I, I run one later in the year and I run a seven minute mile. And my PE teacher was way into it way into the fact that my mile time dropped from like 15 minutes to seven, you know, like over half somehow magically when you actually put some effort in, it turns out <laughs> you end up with a more normal mile time. So he kept calling me. He'd always walk around with his little speaker and he'd be like, he'd, he'd see me and he'd be like, good will hustle. He always called me good will hustle. And I know we're not talking about good will or wait, no, we are talking about good will hunting, but anyway, <laughs> This is the story of how I ended up being called Good Will Hustle by my PE teacher freshman year. Most of the rest of the year from that point on. Come on. Oh, MVP hits. Let's go. Oh, I have an extra money. I just fought Share Bear. I might have made this play a little hastily. <laughs> that is a killer nickname. You think it's time for a Goodwill Hustle t-shirt? Oh, man. That guy, that guy, he'd, uh, he'd have us, uh, you know, like, stretch out, right? Because prior to PE, it's smart to stretch. So we'd all be doing our, like, our stretches, our calisthenics, and he'd be leading us through various stretches, and he'd always be on his, on his, uh, on his speaker talking about, I want to see lots of hair, tops of heads, and a buzz cut or two. <laughs> just be walking around. I like this guy. This guy was, he was a good dude. Wasn't one of those teacher situations where, you know, I stayed close with this teacher for years and I was like, oh, what a formative part of my life. But it was just, yeah, it's just a good dude. Just a good dude teaching high school. Can someone add a command to forever remember Goodwill Hustle? The problem with these uh, one-off commands, Nim, is then who remembers that the command exists, you know? We had a lot of these one-offs and then later I go and clean them up because I'm cheap on the bot and my bot only has 25 slots. <laughs> But then, then I see all these commands that I'm like, oh yeah, I remember we added this. That was forever ago. What up, Rashi? Nim is the keeper of the commands. We are the dreamers of dreams. Okay, PupBot is destroying me because PupBot found a support. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. No, I just lost to a bot. Because it found Baby Root. And my opening shops suck. Hi, this game sometimes. I've been too lazy to round out my stream in an entertaining way. Therefore, you're stuck with however I've configured things. <laughs> If only there was a way that I could reconfigure things in situations like this where it might make sense, but unfortunately that doesn't, it's not a thing. Oh, hit the queen, hit the queen. Ah. Hit the mim. <laughs> All right. I won't be winning any 50-50s. I see. Understood.
Okay, imagine treasures and winning 50-50s and imagine, <laughs> imagine those things because they're not happening here yet. And <laughs> we need them to happen. I got the queen and the cat in the same shop and I went, okay, that's enough of an indicator to me that it's time to play some evils for a little bit, but I haven't been able to triple anything. I've been able to, I've only been able to pair one thing. It does feel like I should have been able to get a little bit more done with my money through level three than this. I keep looking at this. This doesn't seem like enough. Really can only recommend Sammy. Interesting. Is Sammy a bot? I've never heard of Sammy. All this is new Sammy news to me. No. Up the middle. Ugh. Dude. 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 Uh, basically control OBS scenes, visibility, and so on. Okay, that sounds very configurable. It sounds like more setup than I'm probably willing to do, but it sounds very configurable. It, so it sounds incredible. It sounds really excellent. Mm, I want to... I want to buy something that plays well with this board, you know? I want. I wish there were just some character in the pool that worked well with the things that I've been collecting thus far. Just, just one character that somehow just kind of like, almost like a puzzle, just fit right into place. I, I wonder what that character would be. It takes so much time to set up. I bet it's cool though what you can do. I don't know what it is. I always want to call you Allegory and sometimes I do, but sometimes I catch myself and I go, no, I just want to call you Dave. Tarian, thank you for that gift sub to Miniature Catfish, yo. Dude, I gotta say, I'm just like Yuck in some ways. I see you and it makes me smile. I know Yuck sees you, Tarian, and instantly is like, there's my dude. Man. Anyway. Yeah, you know, that's, that's probably a good spot to be in in life. To be the sort of person that, like, people see and then smile. That's, that's probably... It's probably pretty good. What do we got here? Bad Moon is so optimistic, but so beautiful if I can start hitting it. Power Orb is just good. And Sting is just good. And it's probably just Sting. Problem is, getting slays on Chupas is one thing, but building a Chupa big enough to survive a hit is harder. Bad Moon could potentially build a Chupa big enough to survive a hit, but the Chupas aren't big enough necessarily to slay. So like Sting makes Chupa big enough to slay easy peasy, but doesn't give it any more HP, right? So this this forward furthers my plans this game by allowing the slays to continue fairly easily. Power Orb is a nice little middle ground. Again, fairly decent at helping Chupa to slay. Bad Moon is like the, the highest, highest upside pick, but I gotta be able to slay to make use of it. And a 12 and 11 attack Chupas might not slay. We want the bad moon and we want the Chupas to slay. And we want to we wanna live in the optimistic space. But a big part of me said, just take the sting. A big part of me was like, you know what's not going to have a whole bunch of troubles, either backfiring or failing or, you know, like, you know, you know what's, you know, what's not really going to grief you? Sting. Sting is never going to grief you. That said, we got both slays here. So this was clearly the superior decision. Ooh, money. Thanks. And we get everything except for one. All right, let's go. Uh, that's pretty interesting. We want to get Baba. I don't really want XP. I like level three pairs. I am still this hero. We still want Baba. And triples. And Baba. And triples. Male, I mean, yeah. It's kind of on me. I wasn't very specific about what triples. Oh, I kind of like this ring of regen just to give me a little bit more traction in the lobby. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm slipping ever so slightly and the ring of regen will help me not slip. It's a 5.2 lock chest opening, which, again... It's so hard to ignore lock chest. It's so hard to not just take a lock box on Tiger. I do think Ring of Regen was probably the actual pick here, though. 
Trying to get Baba on four and not getting the XP. I might have thought I was five already. <laughs> Full disclosure. <laughs> Look, I know exactly where I am. I know exactly what I'm doing. You worry about you. I got me covered. Don't don't worry about me. Hindsight. Don't. It's, you worry about you worry about your own spot. I'm fully in charge of everything that is happening here. I am a consummate professional. Treasure map. Oh. Yeah, it's got to be treasure map. I do like that Sarko quite a bit, but it's kind of weird because now, oh, what am I hoping the lock chest opens into? But also, who cares? I got, I got, I got the map. I have played Hades. I played a lot of Hades. I'm kind of curious about this Hades too. Hey, let's go. Mm, nah. I'm pretty aggro already. I don't think I need to be super aggro. All right, let's see if we can get a freebie, though. I like that better. I feel like I could win fights with this board, so... I don't know if second mummy plays. I do like this uh, Minotaur quite a bit. It has a lot of attack. When you think about an 11 attack mummy then doing another 11 attack, its upside is that it can hit the back line. But it is just a total of, you know, 22. It's 11 into 11. Where is that, uh, that Minotaur has 24 attack, like straight up. So as long as something touches it, cool. Level seven. Round table monsters. Let's go. That's really good. I may have just stabilized off of that alone. Although the Boom Hilda is certainly helpful. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, wait. I want to get that pumpkin down. I should want to get that pumpkin down. The pumpkin's good. All right, fine. Those are the things I'm willing to get rid of and the things I'm willing to keep. But I really like round table monsters. I really like round table monsters because it fills in the gap that Chupa's got the hardest time with, which is getting the HP up. And these Chupas are large now. -da 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 -da. Yeah, my whole board just got huge. I'm beating up on a monkey paw. This is great. This is perfect. Bad Moon not as needed now, yeah. <laughs> now the Sting might have been better in retrospect, but yeah, no. Uh, we could end up like Hat Ball. I'm going to take the hat. Because we get two of these things. Oh, it's uh, definitely Sarcophagus. Uh, it is buffing the attack permanently, so I think I'm just ditching this hat that I just grabbed. For Sarko. I don't think we need Cloak of the Assassin. I know Bad Moon's kind of doubling up the usefulness. Did I just roll off three big pigs? I should probably take three big pigs. No, I shouldn't. I should take nothing but monsters. That's one six to look at. The last few I looked at were all pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good, too. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's nothing else I can spend money on. I don't mind the sea terror and all, but. Oh, look, XP. We should lock it. You know, we're going to six anyway, but we should, we should lock extra XP. We should go, we should go to six and then some. I think this round's going to be fun. I think I'm already having fun. Let's see if we can get a big boom. I want to triple this thing. I want to have a real big boom. I also want more babas. As many babas as I can find. My backline wants to be a Baba, Boom, and an Oni. Hey, ow, no. I needed that to slay. That's like my whole entire game plan. Don't be rude. More Chupas? I do need more Chupas. Weirdly, I might be willing to play a second Chupa with this round table setup. Oh, more Chupa slays? Okay, all's forgiven. You had enough range on the back that I got to do multiple Chupa Slays. I like it. 
No, not this stuff. Wow. Weird having a round table and not wanting to go into tree. I like these, but I don't see myself doing a whole heck of a lot with it. I like that. I'm probably skipping this treasure. It's just hard to imagine a treasure. I want much more than what I got. I'm going to take this now because I don't know what I might roll into. It might be nothing. So, at least we get another monster. I guess maybe I want a Yorm. I guess maybe I want a Echo Wood. It's a big, it's a big Chupa. There's a preponderance of Chupacabra in this. All right, let's see how big Zippy got here. Pretty big. Would have been nice to snipe the sure shot first. That would have been great. But we didn't, so. Pow. Blam. Boom. Pew pew. Pew pew. Blam. Pow. Pew pew. <laughs> Blam. Pew pew. Blam. Pew pew. Oh yeah, yucks. Yucks heading over. All right. Well, this timing seems good then because he's going to probably want a minute or two to get up and stretch. Let's, uh, I got to want that. I got, I got to want that. And by I got to want that, I mean, I want that. I just, I want that. Oh yeah, one eighteen one. Yeah, the shoulder fairies are interesting for sure. They don't—they just don't play with anything else, right? Oh, Pumpa. All right, let's see what this is. Fireball. Yeah, I want more Pumpa. And that is range, so it's just better. Are they actually like the same exact size? They are, because they both start with the same attack, and they've seen the same number of buffs. Is that—is that what I totally am so shocked? Is that the person who I had no idea was? Oh wow, it's Yuckmal. What up, yuck? So let's uh let's reconvene in five, more or less. Jeez, okay. I don't get a backline this round. I get it. Jeez, okay. I really don't like my background. Back my backline. Oh wait, no, I never mind. I do get a backline. I lied. Well, I, I don't, but it was gonna come back. I had a way to repopulate it. Yuck skips the only meal he eats in a day. That's sad. Eating is overrated. No, I don't think Yuck is going to skip the only meal he eats in a day for this fun event. No, we're... <laughs> I don't think Yuck is starving so that we can bring you this fun time that we have planned here. Uh, I really want to throw this Pigo, but I can't sell down for it. I guess we're going to Fireball. I don't even know if that's bad. No. Last we saw that is not bad. It's not necessarily good. But it's not bad. Would we... If this somehow ends up into... If this goes two rounds, basically, I think I might be willing to throw an Ambrosia down over a Bad Moon. Drax Saber Summoning Portal. Like, there are several fives I would replace with, so... That he's skipping dinner and also that he keeps a diet with... Yo, well, I know about... I know Yuck does OMAD. Because I pretty much just do OMAD too. Some days I don't. Some days I eat twice. But most days I only eat once. But I don't think Yuck has to skip his only meal of the day so that we can all hang out. I don't... I'm sure there are... Well, no, it's, it's short for one meal a day. O-M-A-D. One meal a day. O-M-A-D. <laughs> also, you may know that, and you're just making a joke, and that's fair. Pew, pew, pew. There was another fight. I knew there was a shot. All right. Let's take this. Ah, uh, Horn's pretty good. Sophie's decent. Sophie only actually has an, uh, an effect on the back line. But it does have an effect on the back line. These all get more stats. The health gain here does nothing on the front line. But, like, Horn of Olympus doesn't do enough for me to be that excited about it. 
Staff of the Old Toad. It's so late. I don't really care about it either. I think I'm just going to take Sophie over my bad moon. Throw a minus 30. Roll. Call it a turn. I wanted to triple the boom, but I don't think I gotta. Now, the bad moon almost got Chupa up to the same health as attack. Bad moon is such a wild treasure. It's such a wild treasure. Uh, all right. Skip and skip and... All right. That's true. Yuck and I did eat nuggets one time. Me and Yuck and little Yuck and don't you know's mama because she has indicated that she is not Mrs. Yuck. She is, she is don't you know's mama at least at one point. <laughs> Hasn't totally... I mean, as, you know, she's wrapped her head around you, the, the whole Yuck Mouth label, but, you know, parts of it. Something about being called Mrs. Yuck one time, she... <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Dude, I love Round Table Monsters. Round Table Monsters is so fun. Round Table Chupa. Chupa Cobsters. Ah, you shot the wrong thing. Pew pew. But it doesn't matter. We are so strong here. We are so strong. <laughs> oh? <laughs> that needs to be an emote. Uh-oh. Don't forget to set up the Twitch extension. Uh oh. Horse Thief 3 is live. Uh-oh. Go away. You're fine. Everything's working. You don't need I don't need I don't need notifications and warnings. Everything's working. Okay. Let's get this thing going. I am so ready. I've been looking forward to this. Why would Mordred pocket the royal instead of the second good boy? I don't know. Maybe I didn't realize that when good boy spawns, it catches the previous good boy buff. I guess, though, disaster. Well, is it disaster? No, there really isn't a disaster, is there? You do kind of want your good boys both popping first. It's kind of the six and one half dozen, though. Well, no, it's not. Because if you drop good boy in, let's say good boy just goes in and pops, and then you drop good boy into slot one, then that means you're next up to attack with a good boy again. Whereas if you attack first and you pop the good boy, then you drop the royal in, which you slow down your second good boy attacking. So I guess you do airdrop the good boy. I never really, I don't play enough Mordred to give this stuff enough thought. 